This is a disclaimer. This scenario is a work of fiction, and is meant for entertainment purposes only. If you at any moment the alerts played in the video disturb you or make you uncomfortable, you may click away and go watch another video. If this doesn't concern you, proceed if you wish. I also strongly encourage you to not play these alerts on the air, as this may trigger a actual activation of the emergency alert system. I am not responsible for anyone who misused these tones. This is illegal, and you can go to jail. You have been warned. Anyway, enjoy the video. This is a local area emergency. The following message is transmitted at the request of the Kansas City Police Department. This message is pertaining to an ongoing local event that may pose a threat to the general public. At around 1.23 a.m. Central Daylight Time, there were reports of a mysterious figure roaming around the suburbs of Kansas City. The identity of this figure is unknown at this time. All residents should remain tuned into local stations for more updates on this situation. This is the emergency alert system, serving Kansas City, Missouri. Normal programming may now resume. The following message is transmitted at the request of the Kansas City Police Department. This is an update to the message previously mentioned around 45 minutes ago. Residents of Kansas City, get indoors immediately. The figure that was reported to be roaming around the suburbs of Kansas City has been seen walking towards the downtown area of Kansas City. In addition to this, there have also been reports of a mysterious sound playing throughout the city. It is unknown what or who this figure is, but all residents should remain indoors and should not approach this person, as the intentions of this person are unknown at this time. If this person knocks on your door, do not answer it. This is the emergency alert system serving Kansas City. Normal programming will be discontinued until further notice.
The following message is transmitted at the request of the Kansas City Police Department. This is a civil danger warning. Residents of Kansas City, lock all of your doors immediately. The figure seen roaming Kansas City is in the downtown area of Lower Kansas City. Do not approach this person, as doing so will be putting yourself in danger. In addition, the Kansas City Police Department has made a gruesome discovery in the suburbs of Kansas City. The people that reported seeing the mysterious figure at around 1.20 a.m. have been found hanging dead from a rope in their place of residence. In addition to the discovery, the identity of the figure has been partially identified. The description of this figure is as follows, they are a white female about 17 years old. Of age, standing about 5 foot 3 inches tall, they have coral pinkish hair with a large red bow on the side of their head. They were also seen carrying what appears to be a bloody rope. All residents are strongly encouraged to remain indoors with all windows and doors locked. If you see this person near your home, do not approach them, as doing so may result in certain death. If this person knocks on your door, do not answer it. Do not let this person in your home, no matter how persuasive they sound. Normal programming will be seized until this situation is over. This is a civil danger warning. The following message is transmitted at the request of the Kansas City Police Department, as well as the Kansas City Federal Emergency Management Agency. This alert pertains to an event that poses a threat to the public. The identity of the person that has been roaming the Kansas City area has been confirmed. The identity of the person is as follows, their name is Sayori, which is a character from the Notorious Dating Simulator, Doki Doki Literature Club. They are about 17 years old of age, they are about 5 foot 3 inches tall, they have blue eyes, coral pinkish hair with a large red bow on the side of their head, and they were last seen wearing a black t-shirt, blue jeans, and black shoes. If you see this person near your home, get away from her immediately. Do not let Sayori see you. Do not let Sayori into your home. Do. Not. Approach. Sayori. If Sayori knocks on your door, do not let her in. If you let her in, you will face certain death. Sayori's means of killing her victims is by asphyxiation from hanging from a rope around the neck or the ribs. Stay indoors and avoid Sayori at all costs. She is considered very dangerous. This is the emergency alert system serving Kansas City. Normal programming will be discontinued until further notice.
The following message is transmitted at the request of the Kansas City Police Department, as well as the Kansas City Federal Emergency Management Agency. This is an update message. There have been reports that an additional figure has appeared in downtown Kansas City. In addition, police have identified the figure. Their identity is as follows, they have light brown hair with a white bow in the back. They are about 18 years old of age, they are about 5 feet 5 inches tall, they have green eyes, and they were last seen wearing a white dress with white shoes. This figure has been identified as Monica, who is also a character from the game Doki. Doki Literature Club. As of this moment, Monica has not posed a threat to the public, but residents should remain indoors with all windows and doors remaining locked. It is unknown whether Monica is working with Sayori, but all residents should remain away from Monica as it is unknown if she is considered hostile. Normal programming remains discontinued. Sayori. What are you doing? Monica? What are you doing here? I thought you couldn't get here. It doesn't matter. I'm doing what needs to be done. Sayori. These are innocent people that have families. They did nothing to you, Sayori. Why are you killing them? Because. I have my reasons, Monica. You should leave, and go back home. I don't want you getting hurt. Don't make me do what I don't want to do, Monica. Sayori, I'm not leaving. You're not causing any more chaos, and especially no more deaths. You can come back with me, or we can do it the hard way, Sayori. And this before it gets worse. And what makes me want to go with you? I told you I have my reason, Monica, and I'm not going back. I'm doing what these people need, and they need a piece of our reality. Don't you see, Monica? Won't you work with me? Are you in or are you going to suffer the same fate as the others? Sayori I'm not taking part in your act of mutiny. You're not yourself. Fine, hard way it is Monica. I guess you really weren't my true friend after all. So it's time to suffer like the rest. Evacuate now. I repeat. Evacuate now. Your life is in danger. The following message is transmitted at the request of the Kansas City Federal Emergency Management Agency. 
a mandatory evacuation is now in effect for all residents in the city limits of Kansas City. At around 2.30 a.m. Central Daylight Time, it has been reported that a massive fight between Monica and Sayori has broken out in downtown Kansas City. Massive destruction is currently ongoing in downtown Kansas City. All residents who are listening to this message are ordered to immediately evacuate the area and not return home. If you return home, you will be returning to nothing besides destruction, as well as being at risk of certain death from Sayori. As this fight between good and evil persists, all residents must evacuate the city to ensure their safety. Gather essential supplies such as food and canned goods, preferably non-perishable food, bottled water, blankets and pillows, medicine and medical supplies, toiletries and other hygiene-based necessities, a battery-powered radio with extra batteries, a flashlight, and a first aid kit. Only take one car per family if possible. Turn off all air conditioning units and furnaces, as well as all gas and helium before leaving your house. Only travel on marked evacuation routes only. Evacuation routes have been set up on Interstate 670 and Interstate 70 to help prevent contraflow. Do not attempt to travel to areas not marked for evacuation. If you do not have means of transportation, local authorities will assist those who do not have means for transportation. Do not panic. Panicking is only going to make the situation worse than it already is. Evacuate now. I repeat, evacuate now. If you do not evacuate, you will face certain death. Stay tuned for more updates on this situation. Okay Monica, if you want me to stop, then I'll stop. But not yet. I still haven't gotten to the best part yet. I still haven't caused something catastrophic yet. How's this for you, Kansas City? Try saving them now Monica. Tornado Emergency for Kansas City The National Weather Service in Kansas City has issued a tornado warning for the city of Kansas City in western Missouri until 3.30 a.m. Central Standard Time. At 2.43 a.m. Central Standard Time, an extremely large and violent tornado was reported. 
along the Kansas City city limits. Tornado emergency in effect for Kansas City and surrounding areas. It was confirmed that this tornado was spawned by Sayori. This tornado will completely wipe Kansas City off the face of the earth and anyone who is in the path of this tornado is an extreme danger. In addition to a tornado, Doppler radar has indicated that this tornado has winds in excess of 320 miles per hour and a debris ball of approximately 3 and 3 fourths of a mile wide. Tornado emergency for Kansas City. Take cover now. Seek an interior underground shelter on the lowest floor of a sturdy building and always stay away from windows. This tornado, due to its massive size, will be completely impossible to detect at night. Any above ground storm shelters will be completely decimated by this tornado, and anyone caught in them will be killed upon the tornado's arrival. Locations caught in the path of this unprecedentedly catastrophic tornado include Kansas. City Kansas, East Side, and Kansas City, Missouri. To repeat, a large and extremely destructive tornado is on the ground. Take cover now. A large and destructive tornado is on the ground. Take immediate tornado precautions now to protect your life. Do not wait, your life is in danger. This is a local area emergency. This alert pertains to an event occurring in the St. Louis suburbs. At around 4.30 a.m. Central Standard Time, a mysterious-looking figure was seen entering the city limits of St. Louis. In addition to the figure, they have been partially identified. Their identity is as follows, they are about 17 years old, they are wearing a black t-shirt, blue stained jeans, and black shoes. They are about 5 foot 3 inches tall, they have coral pinkish hair with a large red bow on the side of their head, and they were seen of what appears to be a crazed smile on their face. This person has been confirmed as Sayori, which was seen in Kansas City around two and a half hours ago. Sayori is considered very dangerous, as she was seen brutally murdering civilians in Kansas City. Her means of killing her victims is by hanging them from a rope around the neck or the ribs, where they then asphyxiate to death. 
The St. Louis Police Department has been dispatched to contain the threat. Do not interfere with emergency management, as doing so will be putting yourself and others in danger. Do not approach Sayori, as doing so will result in certain death. If Sayori knocks on your door, do not answer it at all. Do not let her in your home. If she gets in your home, protect yourself by all means, this includes lethal force. Stay tuned for more updates on this dangerous situation. Stop right there. Put your hands up. Up above your head now. Do it now. You heard the officer. Put your hands on your head and slowly walk towards us. Don't pull anything stupid. We don't want to shoot but we will. You guys are making a dumb decision. You don't know who you're messing with. Back off and I'll spare you. Don't suffer like the rest. Stop what you're doing and go home. Shut up and walk towards us. Adhere to our instructions and no one will get hurt. Officer I don't like how this person looks. They look crazy as hell. Are you sure we can handle this? We only have handguns. Officer I assure you we have this under complete control. Don't let your guard down. That's what they said back in Kansas City. You guys aren't that smart, so drop your guns and you won't get hurt. Don't be stupid. Shut up and walk towards us. Adhere to our instructions and no one will get hurt. Good, now slowly turn around and put your hands behind your back. Keep your hands there. You're under arrest. You really should have listened to me. Now it's time that I teach you officers a valuable lesson. Don't worry this won't hurt. Step away from the officer now. Holy shit. Oh my god. Get away. Get away. Dispatch. We have an officer down. I repeat officer down. Send back up.
shelter in place warning. This message is transmitted at the request of the St. Louis Department for Homeland Security, as well as the St. Louis Federal Emergency Management Agency. A shelter in place warning has been issued for the residents of St. Louis until further notice. Sayori has broken out of police custody, and she has been seen entering the city of St. Louis on Interstate 55 near Bella Villa and Lemayan by the East Carondelet River. At this time, all residents who are receiving this broadcast should shelter in place at this time. Go to the lowest floor of the building, away from any outside doors and windows that lead to the outside world. At this time, the broadcast will go quiet to ensure your safety. Please follow all instructions shown on screen. This is a civil danger warning. This message is transmitted at the request of the St. Louis Federal Emergency Management Agency. Sayori is in St. Louis. In addition, she has been sent at FOIC at 86C96C95E6C69E06269E06269E06269E06269E06269E06269E06269E06269E06269E06269E06269E06269E06269E06269E06269E06269E06269E06269E06269E06269E06269E06269E06269E06269E06269E06269E06269E06269E06269E06269E
Evacuate now. I repeat, evacuate now. Your life is in extreme danger. The following message is transmitted at the request of the St. Louis Federal Emergency Management Agency. A mandatory evacuation order is now in effect for all residents within a 50-mile radius of St. Louis. At approximately 4.55 a.m. Central Standard Time, a massive blue light was seen falling from space and is what appears to be a gigantic energy ball which has the capability to wipe the city of St. Louis off the face of the planet. This is expected to occur within the next 15 minutes. Due to the extremely short amount of time before impact, all residents of St. Louis are urged to immediately evacuate the area, get in your car and leave the area. There is no time to wait. In addition, Sayori was confirmed to have summoned this massive energy ball. Get out of St. Louis now. If you don't leave St. Louis, you will face certain death. When you evacuate make sure to drive 50 miles to get clear of the danger zone. When you evacuate make sure to take non-perishable food, bottled water, medicine and medical supplies, blankets and pillows, phones with phone chargers, toiletries and other hygiene-based necessities, a battery-powered radio with extra batteries and a first aid kit. Evacuate now. I repeat, evacuate now. If you do not evacuate, you will face certain death.
Radiological Hazard Warning. The following message is transmitted at the request of the Jefferson City Federal Emergency Management Agency. A radiological hazard warning has been issued for Jefferson City until further notice. At around 5.30 a.m. Central Standard Time, an eastbound freight train that was carrying highly radioactive materials was involved in a catastrophic derailment near the suburbs of Jefferson City. The train is now laying in a piled mess in the suburbs section of Jefferson City. This train derailment was confirmed to have been caused on purpose, as moments before the train derailed, Sayori was seen moments before. All residents receiving this broadcast are strongly advised to remain away from the area, as the properties of the materials are very dangerous. Do not approach the danger zone. Do not interfere with emergency search and rescue as doing so will damper your chance for survival. Stay tuned for more updates on this developing situation. Radiological Hazard Warning. The following message is transmitted at the request of the Jefferson City Federal Emergency Management Agency. This is a radiological hazard warning for all residents within a 10-mile radius of the suburbs of Jefferson City. The train derailment that occurred at around 5.30 a.m. Central Standard Time has worsened. At around 6.20 a.m. Central Standard Time, a fire has started at the derailment site and the train is at risk for releasing harmful radioactive materials into the atmosphere. This is not the equivalent to a nuclear detonation, but the properties of the materials pose a great danger to anyone exposed to them. Hazard teams are on site and are attempting to contain these materials. In addition, the suspect that caused this train derailment, known as Sayori, has disappeared. Her whereabouts are unknown at this time. If you spot Sayori, call 911 immediately. Do not approach Sayori as she is extremely dangerous. She will kill anyone on sight. Do not try to reason with Sayori, as doing so will result in certain death. She is very dangerous. Stay tuned in two stations for more updates on this situation.
Evacuate now. The following message is transmitted at the request of the Jefferson City Federal Emergency Management Agency. A mandatory evacuation order is now in effect for all residents within a 10-mile radius of the suburbs of Jefferson City. The situation concerning the derailment of the radioactive freight train that occurred almost one hour ago has worsened dramatically. At around 6.45 a.m. Central Standard Time, a mass explosion occurred at the derailment site. This explosion has sent harmful radioactive chemicals into the air. This is a dangerous situation and should be taken very seriously. Residents of Jefferson City should now evacuate at this time to ensure their safety. If you do not evacuate, you will be putting yourself in grave danger, in addition to being exposed to deadly radioactive chemicals, which can lead to radiation sickness and eventually, death, if it is not treated properly. Radiation can cause a wide variety of disabilities, such as birth defects, damage to cell, DNA, and cancer. When you are evacuating, make sure to tie a white colored shirt or cloth to your area of residence, to indicate you have safely evacuated. If you hear a siren, you are in the evacuation order. This is a dangerous situation for the greater Jefferson City metropolitan area, and action needs to be taken now. Take essential supplies with you that will last you for this emergency. Make sure to take non-perishable food, bottled water, medicine and medical supplies, blankets and pillows, phones and phone chargers, toiletries and hygiene based necessities, a battery powered radio with extra batteries, a flashlight and a first aid kit. It's strongly requested that you evacuate 10 miles out of the city limits. Shelters have been set up to aid those affected by this emergency. Evacuate now. I repeat, evacuate now. You are in danger. There you are Sayori. Why are you running away from city to city? You're not running anymore. Monica, why are you following me? I told you to go home, but you didn't listen. But you've shown up for the best part. Sayori, what are you talking about best part? The only best part about all of this is when this stops. And it will end the hard way. It's time to stop this madness right here and right now. Oh Monica. That's your ego speaking. You know this won't end, and certainly not for you. I'm afraid the option to go home unharmed for you is now off of the table, and the snake is running for its prey. Monica, you, are the prey. And I am a snake. And I have come with power. A lot of it. Sayori, are you really going to kill the person you cared about with all of your heart? Look at all of this. Doesn't this wake you up from what you're doing? Look around Sayori. That was the past Monica. We are in the present. The past has been played out, and the future must be rolled out. Cared yes you are right. But I have gone cold, I have grown desolate, and darkness is the only thing I know. That is why I have turned against the very planet we step foot on. And your existence on this planet has unfortunately come to an end. Listen to yourself Sayori. This isn't the Sayori the Literature Club knows. The once happy and outgoing old Sayori has turned into a dark, cold and distant killer and known to the harm she has caused. And I have decided that you will end this chaos right here. This draws the line. Okay Monica. If it's a fight you want, 
It's a fight you'll get. Who will the winner be? Let's find out. This is an emergency action notification, requested by the White House. All EA-S participants will follow all activation procedures in the EA-S operating handbook for a national level emergency. The President of the United States, or one of his designated representatives will shortly deliver a message over the emergency alert system. Please stand by. Please stand by. Please stand by. We interrupt your programming. We interrupt your programming. This is a national emergency. Important instructions will follow. This is an emergency action notification. All broadcast stations and cable systems shall transmit this emergency action. Notification message. During this emergency, most stations will remain on the air to provide news and information for the public in assigned areas. This is 107.3 FM, Channel 4. We will continue to serve the Tulsa, Oklahoma City area. If you are not in this local area, tune now to a station providing news and information for your local area. You are listening to the emergency alert system serving the Tulsa, Oklahoma City area. Do not use the telephone. The telephone line should be kept open for emergency use. The emergency alert system has been activated. We interrupt your programming at the request of the White House. We interrupt your programming at the request of the White House. This is the emergency alert system. All normal programming has been discontinued during this emergency. This is 107. 3 FM, Channel 4, and we will continue furnishing news, official information and instructions for the Tulsa, Oklahoma City area. If you are not in this local area you should now tune to stations providing news and information for your local area. It is important that you listen to stations serving news and information in your local area. The following message is transmitted at the requ The following message is transmitted at the request of the United States Federal Emergency Management Agency, as well as the United States government. This is not a test. To repeat, this is not a test. A national state of emergency now exists. At around 8.35 a.m. Central Standard Time, an incredibly large fight between Monica and Sayori has broken out in the state of Missouri. This situation has been continuously out of control and is estimated to only get worse as time goes on. With the fight between good and evil rages on, levels of destruction the face of the 
planet has never seen before has taken toll in the state of Missouri. Everything within several dozen miles of the fight is being destroyed beyond comprehension that the lights which has never seen before. It is expected that within the next five hours that the area surrounding Missouri will be wiped off the face of the earth. Due to this, all residents in the states bordering Missouri are encouraged to immediately evacuate, get in your car and leave the area. If you do not have means for transportation, local authorities and the National Guard will assist those who do not have means for transportation. The military has been put on standby to aid in this ongoing catastrophe. It is strongly recommended that you evacuate to the west coast of the United States, as the farther away you are, the less you are in danger. Take essential supplies with you that will last you for the duration of this emergency. Make sure to take non-perishable food, bottled water, medicine and medical supplies. Blankets and pillows, phones with phone chargers, toiletries, a battery-powered radio. With extra batteries, a flashlight, and a first aid kit. Those who are choosing to disobey these orders are putting their lives in imminent peril. When you evacuate, make sure to tie a white colored shirt or cloth to your area of residence to tell authorities that you have safely left the area. Do not pick up relatives from schools or nursing homes as these facilities have their own evacuation procedures and will act on them accordingly. Do not wait. Your life is in danger. Stay tuned in two stations for more updates on this deadly situation. This is an emergency action notification requested by the White House. All EA's participants will follow all activation procedures in the EA's operating handbook for a national level emergency. 
the President of the United States or one of his designated representatives will shortly deliver a message over the emergency alert system. Please stand by. Please stand by. Please stand by. We interrupt your programming. Interrupt your programming. This is a national emergency. Important instructions will follow. This is an emergency action notification. All broadcast stations and cable systems shall transmit this emergency action notification message. During this emergency, most stations will remain on the air to provide news and information for the public in assigned areas. This is 107, 3 FM, Channel 4, and we will continue to serve the Tulsa, Oklahoma City area. If you are not in this local area, you should now tune to stations providing news and information for your local area. You are listening to the emergency alert system serving the Tulsa, Oklahoma City area. Do not use the telephone. The telephone line should be kept open for emergency use only. The emergency alert system has been activated. We interrupt our programming at the request of the White House. We interrupt our programming at the request of the White House. This is the emergency alert system. All normal programming has been discontinued during this emergency. This is 107, 3 FM, Channel 4, and we will continue furnishing news, official information and instructions for the Tulsa, Oklahoma City area. If you are not in this local area, you should now tune to stations providing news and information for your local area. It is important that you listen to stations providing news and information in your local area. The following message is transmitted. Area. The following message is transmitted at the request of the United States government. This is not a test. I repeat, this is not a test. Please pay close attention to this alert as this message pertains to an ongoing national crisis. At 10.30 a.m. Central Standard Time, an attack on the United States has been commenced. At around 1.20 a.m. Central Daylight Time, a mysterious figure was spotted in Kansas City, in Missouri. Since then, mass chaos and destruction has been continuously taking place in Missouri. This situation has been confirmed to have gotten worse. At approximately 10.20 a.m. Central Standard Time, multiple sightings of mysterious and extremely dangerous creatures were spotted in several states throughout the United States. These creatures are described as to be standing around 7 feet tall, they have extremely fast agility and strength, and they have glowing blue parts on their body with the text saying, just say Ori. These creatures are causing destruction that has never been seen before in the history of civilized existence. These creatures are attacking anyone and anything that gets caught in their line of sight. These creatures are attacking the human race. States that have come under attack by these creatures include Missouri, Oklahoma, Texas, Kansas, Nebraska, Illinois, Arkansas, Indiana, Louisiana, Georgia, Alabama, South. Dakota, North Dakota, Colorado, and Michigan. These creatures are brutally murdering anything in their line of sight. In addition, it has been confirmed that military and National Guard authorities are having extreme difficulty exterminating these creatures and may have to commit acts of warfare among its own soil. This is a very dangerous situation for the United States and anyone who is receiving this broadcast is ordered to follow this set of instructions at this time. At this time seek the most interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building with no windows or exterior walls that lead to the outside world. Gather essential supplies for when you head to your shelter. Take non-perishable food, bottled water, medicine and medical supplies, phones with phone, 
chargers, a battery-powered radio with extra batteries, a flashlight, blankets and pillows, and a first aid kit. If one or more of these creatures enter your home, protect yourself by all means, this includes firearms and lethal force. Military officials are working on a mitigation effort to get this situation under control. At this time, you should tune to a station that is providing news and information to your local area. Do not call 911 as the phone lines must be kept open for those who need actual assistance. If you use the telephone lines when you don't have a real emergency, you could be putting someone in danger who actually needs it. At this time, stay tuned in two stations for a message from the United States government. We interrupt your programming. This is a national emergency. Important instructions will follow. This This is an emergency action notification. All broadcast stations and cable systems shall transmit this emergency action notification message. During this emergency, most stations will remain on the air to provide news and information for the public in assigned areas. This is 107, 3 FM, Channel 4, and we will continue to serve the Tulsa, Oklahoma City area. If you are not in this local area, you should now tune to stations providing news and information for your local area. You are listening to the emergency alert system serving the Tulsa, Oklahoma City area. Do not use the telephone. The telephone line should be kept open for emergency use only. The emergency alert system has been activated. We interrupt our programming at the request of the White House. We interrupt our programming at the request of the White House. This is the emergency alert system. All normal programming has been discontinued during this emergency. This is 107, 3 FM, Channel 4, and we will continue furnishing news, official information and instructions for the Tulsa, Oklahoma City area. You are listening to the emergency alert system serving the Tulsa, Oklahoma City area. It is important that you listen to stations providing news and information in your local area. The following message is transmitted at the... The following message is transmitted at the request of the United States government, as 
well as the North American Aerospace Defense Command. This is not a test. To repeat, this is not a test. At approximately 12.35 p.m. Central Standard Time, a major attack against the United States and other major countries across the world has been commenced. At approximately 12.40 p.m. Central Standard Time, Warrant military radar detected the launch of 20 intercontinental ballistic nuclear missiles from the United States, China, Russia, Iran, and North Korea. These missiles are expected to strike several international cities across the world. Within the next 30 to 45 minutes, and the 20 of the missiles are headed towards the United States. It is believed that these missiles will strike these locations in the United States. Within the next 30 minutes, the locations include Los Angeles, California, New York City, New York, Chicago, Illinois, Sacramento, California, Boston, Massachusetts, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Miami, Florida, Colorado Springs, Colorado, Denver, Colorado, New Orleans, Louisiana, Boise, Idaho, Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, Detroit, Michigan, Jacksonville, Florida, Seattle, Washington, Portland, Oregon, Omaha, Nebraska, Austin, Texas, and Raleigh, North Carolina. All residents who are within a 300-mile radius of these locations are strongly advised to consider seeking out a fallout shelter now. Fallout is a product of nuclear attacks. Prolonged exposure will result in certain death if it is not treated properly. Take an essential set of supplies that will last you for two to three weeks. Make sure to take non-perishable food, bottled water, medicine and medical supplies, a flashlight, a battery-powered radio with extra batteries, blankets and pillows, and a first aid kit. Do not leave the fallout shelter for any reason or unless absolutely necessary. If you leave the shelter you will be exposing yourself to deadly radioactive fallout. Fallout spreads hundreds of miles from the detonation site approximately one minute after impact. In addition, it has been confirmed that Sayori is responsible for this major nuclear attack. The human race is under attack. At this time, you should stay tuned into stations for more updates on this catastrophic situation. Please stand by for a message from the United States government.
Enough. No more chaos, no more destruction, no more death, and no more disasters. I am ending this right now. Sayori, this ends your madness. Time to go back home. And time to save these innocent people. This is an emergency action termination. This is an all-clear message. The mysterious event with the highly dangerous individual, known as Sayori, has been confirmed to now be under control. The nuclear missiles that were launched to strike various locations across the world have self-destructed, and Sayori is nowhere to be seen at this time. It is believed that Monica stopped Sayori before the nuclear missiles impacted their targets and saved what could have been the end of the human race. Sayori is no longer a threat at this time. Monica has saved humanity from Sayori. You may now leave your shelter. Although, the United States has experienced a destruction the human race has never seen. Before, the state of Missouri has been utterly and apocalyptically destroyed. The National Guard has been deployed to affected areas, and are proceeding with rescue and retrieval operations, and are helping those that have been affected by this disaster. To repeat, the extremely dangerous individual, Sayori, has been neutralized, and no longer poses a threat to the human race. You may now leave your shelter. This concludes all operations of the emergency alert system. Your government thank- This concludes all operations of the emergency alert system. Your government thanks you for your cooperation during this emergency. All emergency alert system activations will now be handed to local authorities. This concludes This concludes all operations of the emergency alert system. Your government thanks you for your cooperation during this emergency. All emergency alert system activations will now be handed to local authorities.